Welcome to RV and Travel Adventures. My name is Jesus Manuel Menagarza. I hope you're having a super fantastic day. In this edition, I explore the 2021 Tiffin Van Lee 41 FLB fifth wheel. The width of this unit is 8 feet 5 inches, the height 13 feet 11 inches, the length 42 feet 4 inches. Its cargo carrying capacity is 2,100 pounds. In the back you have the restroom, next to that is the bedroom, and right in the middle is the dining room and kitchen area. Up front is the lounge area, and it's a very nice and expensive lounge area. I saw this unit at Explorer USA RV Supercenter in Fort Worth, Texas. They are the nicest people ever. To the left is the manifold uh, for the hydraulic system, for the leveling system, and of course the reservoir. Right there is the uh, area where you can put a generator, it's already been prepped for you, and some of the electronics for the uh, surge guard transfer system. Right up front uh, you have the controls for the uh, leveling system and it's a very nice leveling system indeed. Up front you get two propane tanks, uh, one on each side. Each one is uh, 30 pounds. Let me open this up. You get a little bit of uh, pass-through storage up front and of course the utility station on the right. There's one of the controls for the uh, system. Of course if you have any questions about this unit you can always contact your local uh, Van Lee uh, Beacon dealership. I'm pretty sure they'll be more than happy to help you. There's a tank flush, a uh, winterizing system, and of course uh, connections for the satellite and cable. Immediately to the right of the uh, storage is a water heater and also the exhaust for the heating system. I really like this paint job. It has a definitely a super glossy uh, look to it. Nice rims and Westlake tires and road armor uh, suspension. This should uh, reduce a little bit of the uh, bounce and jounce as you go down the road. You get a heated and enclosed uh, underbelly. There's one of the terminations and of course one of your leveling jacks. As I pan to the right you get two areas of storage. Uh, significant storage in fact. Uh, you can access uh, three different ways. Uh, let me show you one of them right here. You have five different doors to access uh, this very nice uh, pass-through storage. What do you think? Do you like all the storage? It's, uh, it's definitely quite useful for you full-timers. In this area you can uh, either uh, have some containers, put some tables, uh, whatever you want for your campsite, you can put it right there. It's a little bit narrow, and uh, but it's definitely useful. I like the pistons that hold up the doors. Let me see if I can open this up without dropping it. Uh, yes, I dropped it. I apologize. Let me open it up again. Let me try again. Let me uh, put it up there with the latches, the magnetic latches, and hold it up. Very nice. The other doors open uh, were uh, kept up by little pistons. This one had uh, only the magnetic latches. So this tray comes out. I don't know what this stuff is. It's uh, probably something left over from the manufacturing. Nicely insulated. And this tray comes in and goes out, so if you have some significant items that weigh a lot, that would be a good uh, place to put them. On top of the roof, you get three air conditioning units. Uh, for a 42-foot plus unit, you, you definitely need three air conditioning units. And of course, you see the antenna and some of the other uh, accessories that are accessed from the roof. You have the solid step by uh, Lippert Industries. Let's go inside and let's turn on the master light switch. One of the managers at Explore USA RV Supercenter told me, Jesus, you have to check out this uh, Van Lee Beacon 41 FLB. It has the uh, fire opal paint job plus the white linen cabinet finish. You'd have to check that out. Don't forget to leave your kind and super friendly comments below the description. And if you have any comments regarding the design and the interior 
and the amenities of this unit. Feel free to comment below. Again, this has the white linen cabinet finish. It's a very interesting uh, choice by Van Lee. It's uh, very popular now to have uh, what do you call the lighter colored woods and, and the paints. So this is the Insignia 4-burner cooktop. Very nice cooktop. Uh, cast iron grates and a good size oven. Perfect for a turkey, a cake, a pie, a pizza, or just uh, grill some vegetables. My wife's a vegetarian, by the way. That's what she does. She grills vegetables. And right up there you have a convection microwave oven. So you have three options. The microwave, the stovetop, and the oven for cooking your meals very nicely and of course you can always cook something outdoors on a griddle let's go check out the half bath I couldn't open this up because I, I have puny uh, scrawny arms and I apologize there's a porcelain foot flush toilet with a nice little uh, sprayer I really like this thing it's a good size it has a nice uh, solid surface uh, countertops and right down here, you can put some of your chemistry, your chemicals uh, for, uh, for the toilet and to clean the uh, restroom. You get a good size uh, medicine cabinet too. Uh, three layers of uh, storage and a nice mirror. To the right, you get some significant storage up here. And of course, a very, very nice and powerful fan. You definitely need a nice fan in the restroom and of course vents, lights, etc. As we pan down, this section to the right has been prepped for a washer and dryer. That's your choice if you want to use uh, either for storage or for a washer and dryer. Let's get back to the galley kitchen area. You have a stack of three drawers and some storage to the right. Again, you decide what you're going to use these for, for you know, storing packaged goods, uh, canned goods, uh, or for uh, whatever essentials you need while camping. The folks at uh, Tiffin Van Lee use a better quality uh, plywood when they build their boxes for their uh, drawers. I appreciate it. Very unusual design back here for the backsplash. Has a lot of texture, super textured. I uh, feel these cabinets would be perfect to uh, store your stemware for those special occasions. Of course, you'd have to find a way to make sure they don't shatter as they go down the road. As I noted earlier, the cabinet finish on this uh, unit is white linen, but they also offer mocha glaze, English chestnut, amber glaze, and uh, dovetail. So you have options. If you don't like this uh, white linen, you can get something else. It's, I'm pretty sure the folks at uh, Tiffin Van Lay will be more than happy to help you. And your local uh, dealership will be more happy to help you also, because they're all nice people. They only have your best interest at heart. So let me open up this residential refrigerator. It's an LG refrigerator. It has plenty of storage, I think. It also has an ice maker, and it's very nice. It's a good mid-range LG refrigerator. Nice stainless steel finish also. A lot of manufacturers are dumping their uh, residential refrigerators and going to uh, DC or just uh, propane and... Uh, alternating current. I saw this unit at Explore USA RV Supercenter in Fort Worth, Texas. They are the nicest people ever. As you can see, there's plenty of storage inside and out. There's some receptacles right there. They use a higher quality of plywood at Tiffin Van Lee to make their little boxes there. And of course, it has solid wood door fronts uh, and also these uh, all metal glides. And they're underneath, not on the side, in this uh, oil rub looking uh, hardware. Continuing uh, the white theme, you'll get some uh, solid surface countertops, white solid surface countertops, more storage right here. And you'll notice, oops, what? oh, somebody just walked in, a good sized person just walked in and made the whole trailer move. As you look up, the light uh, turned on uh, when I uh, opened that little door. Let's go take a peek and see who that person was real fast. Yes, there he is with the uh, baseball cap. He's walking outside. He's going to go check out some other units, apparently. So there's a little dinette area. You can have two chairs there and, of course, the white solid surface tabletop. You get three windows there. Plenty of uh, light in this area. Very bright. If you like a bright and airy uh, 
fifth wheel, this is the one for you. That white paint definitely reflects a lot of light. Let's go upstairs and check out the lounge area. You get two sofas and two easy chairs. Very nice and fluffy easy chairs at that. Certain style, certain beige, sort of fluffy look to them. I'm not a big fan, but are you? Do you like these chairs? They, they are comfortable. You get a nice uh, ornamental fireplace that also serves as a space heater. Two speakers and a furry on head unit right in the middle. Let me sit down so we can uh, see what the other side looks like. So you can have some conversation with at least uh, five other individuals. So you have seating for at least six. There's those uh, very nice recliners. Tiff and uh, Van Lee uh, took it upon themselves to uh, actually uh, have these made in the United States of America. A lot of uh, RV furniture is imported from China and other countries. So that's very nice that they're employing American citizens, giving them jobs so they can support their families and uh, support their community. Nice window balances. Here's some more storage right under here. Again, like I said a thousand times, this unit has plenty of storage, but it has a cargo carrying capacity of only 2,100 pounds. There's some receptacles. Immediately to the left is the pop-up TV or televator as some people like to call them. Very nice. You also have a view there so you can have a shade. You can put down that shade, put up the TV and have some privacy at night so you can watch uh, the boob tube. Of course, you get cup holders uh, on each side and also in the middle of the chair, uh, right there in the armrest, and you get some controls and receptacles. And these do recline. So what do you think of the lounge area? Let me go down these stairs and pass through the uh, kitchen dining area and the half bath. Somebody left that door open, that gentleman. Now I have to go upstairs. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. You get a stack of four drawers right there and a couple of very large uh, drawers to the left and that little bureau area. A television right there and a nice two-tone treatment on the walls in this area. I like the darker treatment on the bottom and the lighter treatment on the top. And this is the bed. And you have an option between a queen and a king, apparently. Again, if you have any questions, I would contact your local dealership or the folks at Tiffin Van Lee. This slides, of course. This is your uh, closet area. To the right, they have uh, shorter storage for like uh, shirts, uh, jackets, small jackets. Nothing too long. And of course, you can put something up there like hats, uh, you know, suitcases, whatever you want. You can put it right there. Plenty of room for all your goodies. The left section, of course, is a lot longer. So for, you know, longer outfits. Again, there's a shot of the two-tone. I really like that two-tone. You get uh, receptacles for USB and alternating current on both sides and a puny little table. Very nice. I really appreciate that. As I pan to the left, let's check out some more drawers. These are nice little stubby drawers. Very well constructed. Again, painted solid wood drawer fronts, under drawer metal roller glides, plywood box construction. And their plywood they use is a higher quality plywood that I've seen in a lot of other units. So you get a stack of four drawers there, two areas, one on the left, one on the right, where you can uh, store some items and of course receptacles right below and next to the sink. Two bowls for uh, two individuals. Uh, you can share or not share. It's up to you. And you get a stack of three areas there in your medicine cabinet. So you can put your personal grooming uh, supplies there, your medicines, etc., etc. Toothbrush. Hey, we all need a toothbrush, don't we? So nice faucets, nice uh, white theme, again, uh, solid surface countertops, and a very nice toilet. I like this toilet. And right in the back here, you have your emergency exit window. So if there's an emergency, you can pop that out and uh, hopefully uh, make your way through it and not hurt yourself. There's a little table there, a little stool, a little bench that you can sit on to take a shower to make sure you're perfectly 101% clean. Here's some of the hardware for the shower. Of course, the surround is a nice, thick, solid fiberglass, a very high quality fiberglass. It's so high quality, it's repairable, it says right there. You can repair this fiberglass because it's what? It's a good quality fiberglass. 
There's some of your lights, your vents, and of course, a very nice and powerful fan. Don't forget to share your wonderful opinion of this uh, Van Lee uh, Beacon 41 FLB. I'm pretty sure uh, my subscribers and other folks will be glad to hear what you have to say and what your impressions are of this design, the color choices, and the various options and uh, features of this unit. I really like this unit. It's uh, not perfect for me. I would pick a different uh, you know, wood finish, etc., and different amenities. This has been a 16-minute review walkthrough of the 2021 Tiffin Van Lee Beacon 41 FLB. I hope you're having a great day. This has been Jesus Manuel Menegarza for RV and travel adventures. I hope you're having a fantastic day. Hope you're feeling super healthy. Hope you have a little bit of money in your wallet. Again, I'm in Fort Worth. Gracias. Adios. Bye-bye.